Carving is very sensual. Oh, okay, dude. Wait, what the f Dude, okay, they straight up just look like <laughs> rejected Pokemon from the board meeting. Oh, so we're just getting into it. Oh, yo, the animation's about to pop off, isn't it? I just feel like it is. Wait, it's already dead. God. What's up, guys? So this is going to be Main Abyss Episode 6. Now that she's dead? Maybe? I don't know. They didn't really outright say that she died. They're kind of walking around it, telling the lion, saying that she's asleep or she gave herself up. But this doesn't necessarily mean she's dead. Now, the Miti we see in front of us right here is obviously not the original one. Wouldn't really make any sense considering Red completely disintegrated her. So at some point when she was with Bone Drood, he cloned her and I guess brought her here and exchanged her for things. So what I want to know is if she has the memories uh, that the original Miti had of Nanachi. She's probably not going to remember Reg and Rico then because she's probably cloned before they uh, she met them. But let's get around the episode though. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, hit that sub button. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, bro. She has to make a crazy choice. I forgot about that. I don't know what I would choose here. Like I said, I, I, I think I initially said eyes, but internal organs, there's no way. What did she choose? Okay, bro. If we, if that was going to happen, why did they leave it on that cliffhanger? The fucking bait, dude. They baited us. Just let me be. So she's alive, bro. She just, I'm just like, just casually alive. Oh, look at her all bundled up and under the covers like she's having a sleepover or something. Whoa, what is that? Just broke the dam? What's going on? The luring. Oh, that's that's actually something I forgot to mention last episode. Whatever this luring is, probably different than the balancing, but... Oh, we got a purple slime this time instead of black. Oh, they lured it in in order to hunt it. Oh, interesting. Well, it doesn't look like they're uh, doing a good job. <laughs> Bro, she looks badass. It's an instrument? Oh, okay, so it's the final form of her white whistle. Yo, low key? What if this gives like uh, Rico some powers or something? I don't know. So she's gonna probably use this to fight this this little slime monster we got going on here. Carving is very sensual. Oh, okay, dude. Wait, what the? F oh, what the fuck? Is this one of the hollows or is this? Oh, it is. Okay, I was like, yo, what the? F Damn. Even, even that's doing nothing. Bro, if your, like, giant, like, titan-sized fighter just got absolutely one-shotted, you got no chance. Oh, this is the last of the three sages that we never saw. Is he from the past? I don't remember him. Maybe I gotta go back. Okay, that's kind of badass, though. Oh, okay. That's not how I've ever seen someone use a sword, but... Hey, it is what it is. Oh, he's fucked. Bro, this is like Madara versus everyone. There is just no way. I feel bad for these fodder. Bro, it should have been obvious that they gotta go after the thing inside this goddamn Susano. Oh, oh. Really just took out one of the three sages just like that? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> They actually were able to lure it here. That's kind of crazy. What the heck is that? Kajak. This guy transformed? What the fuck? <laughs> really? Yo, there's no way, bro. There is just zero fear in this woman's heart. Bro, 
bro give it up for the for the soundtrack of this show it just really keeps you engaged and the cgi is just it's, it's actually crazy to see how far cgi has come like it, they make it look like it's not obviously perfect but they make it look like it's 2d got him that's it boom oh so they did that to separate the uh slime from the organ oh wow so the organ generates the force field and they were able to burn away enough to where the regeneration was slow yeah butt cheek boy okay have bigger and lighter than air we could catch it with the wind okay it's straight up the hell we got a modern scientist over here senku watch out dude okay they straight up just look like <laughs> rejected pokemon from the board meeting oh she actually did cut her hair oh i thought she like tied it up i totally missed that wow okay we are i like this you know she's getting real in the story when the female character cuts her hair i remember the first time i saw that it was sakura probably when she cut her hair after sasuke left her and after she cut her she started changing a little bit and becoming a little bit more badass oh so it looks like we're not done bro no no not butchie boy bro no shot huh oh prushka do it do it blow that shit what is it gonna do though Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's arrived, our boy. Back from his journey. I wonder if he had to power up or something. Wait, he did. He looks different. Okay, this guy got a power up. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, so we're just getting into it. Oh, yo, the animation's about to pop off, isn't it? I just feel like it is. Oh, oh, get sturdy. Let's go. I've never seen him do that before. Wait, it's already dead. God. Oh, it was a temporary form, bro. What the fuck? Okay, so the Prushka is tied to Reg. Okay, so now we know what Prushka does. What is Faputa? Embodiment of value, the thing we most desire but also fear. She's also from the past. I'm one of the survivors of the Suska Swat Guanja. Oh, so she's just saying it. Was one of the three sages. Ah. Replaced. She's never seen the princess? Bro, she knows her. Okay, so th this is the interaction that we need to see happen. What the fuck is Irumui? Your existence, your desires, your memories. What is this? What am I looking at? Okay, so I wanted to kind of do these post-game analysis a little differently now. Just so, like, I can have something visually on the screen as I'm talking. And to be honest, it's probably going to save me some time editing. So, uh, yeah, let's just go through the episode and talk about some pretty important and badass stuff we saw this episode. Okay, so now that she's not dead, uh, she didn't, you know, give up her life technically. But she did give up her freedom in exchange for Miti. And she's basically telling Rico to... Uh, just leave and let her be it was a little bit awkward i guess transitioning from last week's like cliffhanger with nanachi to this week getting like a few minutes with it but then moving on quickly to the next part of the episode so i felt like that aspect of the episode could have been a little smoother somehow uh, maybe give more context a little bit more dialogue here in this scene right here uh, but other than that after this we get right into it man so majikaja is looking at voiko like who the fuck are you and uh they haven't really figured it out the lady that owns the restaurant at the end might have but didn't really matter because at the end she did reveal uh, who she is but we'll get to that it's a little worrying this is what's going on right now it's a little different than the balancing uh whereas that's an entity that belongs or rather is from within the golden city the luring is when the hollows lure another monster from the outside in and this time they may have bit off more than they could chew this thing was completely wrecking people left and right 
basically a monster that can emit some gooey like substance just kind of like a force field we actually got to see the third of the three sages that we hadn't yet seen Juraimo. i'm just gonna call him jury for now uh but he, and i'm not sure if he's dead but he did stop moving so i don't know we'll find out next episode but i wonder if he's from the past i don't actually remember him from the flashback scenes that we got so this might be just an entirely new character so they come up with this plan to lure the beast and um apparently Rico has something up her sleeve i don't know how she was able to concoct this plan in like i don't know a matter of minutes but regardless kamaji Ka just transformed like the true digimon he is and these uh three fire type pokemon were able to actually blow up the creature exposing its uh inner self everyone's cheering everyone's happy that nobody died and they were able to win but then boom this thing's back and it uh almost takes away one of our most beloved characters ma butt cheek boy Rico blows the white whistle aka Prushka and that summons Reg but not only does it summon him it gives him a freaking upgrade baby look at that uh, we did get cucked though we got super freaking cucked because we didn't get to see Reg go all out but that's okay so now they're thinking of a way to get Nanji back and they're like hey we let's uh let's trade Faputa and Boka's like you know I might as well just tell you guys about everything at the end she is talking to this little heartbeat something like some sort of i don't know stone inside of inside of her it looks like it's inside of her i would say i'm not exactly sure what this means or how this makes sense um is this actually the girl and faputa is someone else or some other form of her or what's what's the deal here so uh we'll have to see but yeah that was uh main abyss if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, then uh, definitely drop a like. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are about this show down below. Main Abyss Greatness, one of the best anime of this season. It's actually crazy how this season of Main Abyss is probably going to get overshadowed. Not by any anime this season, but what's to come in October. Frankly, any anime this season is going to get overshadowed. Uh, but yeah, hit that sub button. I'm out. Peace.